Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. I hope you're keeping well. Last week, I showed you how you can create a route in Garmin Basecamp, really the route planning process. And also, we looked at planning escape routes also in Garmin Basecamp. Since then, I thought, here's a nice little top tip to add to this, is how do we get the postcode of the starting point that we are wanting to drive to to start the walk. So if you've not seen last week's videos, I'll put a link above or also in the comment box um, below or the, the description below, and that will link to this project which I finished last week, which is planning a route, which was Ingleborough in the Yorkshire Dales, and then planning my escape routes, escape route one, escape route two. And the, the route planning process also went through what you should do with that route information, share it with other people, how you should inform those people what to do if you weren't to come back from that walk. But then I thought, actually, how do we get to the stopping point? So it, thinking back to what we uh, have already done, we started our walk in Clapham. So this is Garmin Basecamp, Garmin's free route planning software. And the video I did last week, which I'll link to below, um, I'll show you how to plan that route and also how to share that information with other people. So we went from a place called Clapham, and then we went up onto the top of Ingleborough, and then we dropped down to um, Ingleton there. So Clapham is a place we're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is show you some free software where you can find out the postcode of Clapham. Now, Clapham's quite an interesting one because I suspect you could just Google Clapham and find a house there or a cafe there or something like this. But this is particularly useful and we'll look at that if we're looking at a route that is totally off grid with nothing around it. So let's just look for Clapham initially. If we just go online, there's a really good website called streetmap.co.uk. I'm using streetmap because it uses ordnance survey mapping. So if you're in the UK, we've already planned on ordnance survey mapping. We're going to be able to visualize it on ordnance survey mapping. And what we can do, we can just search for Clapham and just search for Clapham. Okay, so Clapham, North Yorkshire is where I think we'll be looking at. Um, again, fingers crossed. Okay, there's Clapham. Nice and easy to do. So the nice thing is we're visualizing Clapham on an ordnance survey map, and we have the options to drag it around. You'll see on street map on the right-hand side, there's this little move arrow. I can click on move arrow, and I can reposition my arrow. So do you know what? There's, it looks like there's a car park there on the ordnance survey map, we do have the ability to zoom in to 125K mapping. So I wanna park on that car park there. So I've pictured, I've made it, sorry, I've made an arrow exactly on the car park, which is where I want to arrive into the walk. And what you do at the bottom here is click here to convert the coordinates. If you click here to convert the coordinates, it brings up a new window and in there, the nearest postcode. So if you are gonna to drive to Clapham in this instance to start the walk, there's the postcode. Pop that into your sat nav um, and then your, hopefully your car will uh, navigate you to that location. Okay, other key thing is we've got a grid reference, 10 figure grid reference and also a six figure grid reference as well. One other thing, what three words is there as well? One other thing is down the bottom is a link. So again, if you want to share this with some friends, this is what I do. If you came on one of our courses or, um, or, or one of our guided walks with you with Shepherd's Walks, I always share this link with people. I say, you know what? Meet me at this location at whatever time. So if you want to share this with a friend, they can click on that. They can then zoom out to see that in a bigger picture if they choose to or they can zoom in. But it's a really nice, easy way using Ordnance Survey mapping to find the location of a starting point. So I'll do another instance there. I'll do one that's a little bit more remote. So I'll jump back onto Garmin Basecamp um, and we'll, we'll look at a, a, another location. So what I'm gonna do is we'll stay within the Yorkstales. It could be anywhere. So again, we could be starting a walk from, um, I don't know, let's just randomly here. I don't know the area that well, really. So, okay. We're gonna start a walk from this location, aren't we? So I'm, I'm gonna create a little, I'm just gonna put a, a flag in there. So this is where we're going to um, start a walk. So if I created a walk or I downloaded a GPX file from the internet, internet, there's my start of my walk there. And this is where this street map really comes in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna look for a location nearby. Again, the nice thing is, because we're using um, the Ordnance Survey map, I'm gonna see exactly what we do. So actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna search for Clapham, and I'm gonna go directly south of Clapham, 
and I'm going to look for low kettleback. What I've found from my experience is if you search for low kettleback, it more than likely will not come up. But if I go back to my Clapham, I said I could search for Clapham, but I'm already there. I scroll down. There's Clapham Station that we've just seen. And there is um, low clep low um, low kettlebeck there, which is there. So the start of the walk was there. So I can just get my little arrow to click there. It points at as a location. I'm just going to click on it to convert to coordinates. And there's a postcode there, LA28HF. Put that into your car sat nav. Now I appreciate a postcode is usually, well, it will be a building. So it just get you to the vicinity where that start of the walk is. And then you'll have to get your, your map out or your GPS unit out. Actually, you could actually create a, if you wanted to, you could have created a waypoint directly on your GPS unit. So when you get to near that postcode, if you want to, you just press find, select waypoints on your GPS unit, and that would take you to the exact spot of that waypoint, which is here on the map. And again, we've created it in Garmin Basecamp as well. So again, if I wanted to, I could just go to bring up Garmin Basecamp. I could just say, okay, send the start of my walk, which is my waypoint, send that to my GPS device. Okay, and then I've got on my GPS device and then you could get there very near to that location with the car sat nav. And when you get near it, if you're still struggling to understand where, where, where you're supposed to be meeting the friends or family or whoever you're walking with, you could just go to where to on your GPS unit, select waypoints. It puts the nearest waypoint at the top, which will be this waypoint, which is named start of the walk. And then it will take you in a straight line to that location and then you will find it. So again, I could just send that to the to my GPS device and that's on there. So it's just using this free software, I say it's free online result, um, free online uh, website called streetmap.co.uk to help um, find the, the starting point of that walk and also easy navigate there with first of all a postcode. If it is a very rural location like this one, you could potentially uh, create a waypoint on your GPS unit and then when you get a little bit nearer, utilize your GPS unit to get to there. If you wanna know more training and top tips just go to our website, which is gpstraining.co.uk and click on the online resource on the top menu bar. It takes you to our free online resource, which has, well, sorry, there's some free training videos in there and you've got access to all of them. Um, you can um, you can pay a small subscription a year. So click on course at the top, Garmin, uh, Garmin Basecamp. You can select PC or Mac again. Sure, I'm not a bike, so I'm working on the PC at the moment. There's a Windows um, instructions there learning how to use Garmin Basecamp, how to play plan routes, how to export tracks, etc., etc., and also some top tips as well to take you through getting the most out of Garmin Basecamp. These are all videos, so again, if you've never had a look, there's a video there. If you've never used Garmin Basecamp before, there's a five-minute video introducing you to Garmin Basecamp and everything that you need to know to get to grips with it. And these are video after video after video and you will get to grips with both Garmin Basecamp. Also, there's training videos in here of how to use that GPS tuner. So again, if you have a, a, I don't know, a Montana 700, 750, here are over 50 training videos of everything that you need to know about using your GPS unit. And that's the same for all those GPS units. You get this free if you buy a GPS unit from us, or alternatively, you can pay a sole subscription and, and have access to it. I very much hope this has helped. Um, again, it kind of ties on the back of last weekend's video. If you've not seen last weekend's video, please do. And if we can help you in any way, please do get in touch. We do nationwide training courses around the country and around the UK on learning how to use your GPS unit and also Garmin Basecamp. We do um, training courses over Zoom. So again, if you are wanting to uh, join us, you can do, we do training courses over Zoom, just a two hour training courses. And there's the access to the online resource we're just looking at. And then of course, I say we do two day training courses around the UK. Once you've been on a two day training course, you have to get invited into what's called our GPS in the hills, which is going out in the hills and getting the most out of your GPS year. I very much hope this has helped. If we can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to get in touch and many thanks for watching.